my name is Rui, and I am from India. I live with my parents and older brother. One evening, my parents went outside to shop. Since I was grown up and was not afraid of staying home alone, I convinced my brother to go for a walk. Finally, after he agreed, I locked the door from inside. After a while, while I was studying, I heard a bang. Now, the twist is that I live in an apartment, so either it was a break-in or something happening next door. I peeked outside my door, and my heart sank. A bearded man with an iron rod had broken my door and was trying to get inside through the gap. I thought quickly. I had been watching Wan C Entertainment, and I knew what to do. I could have chosen my brother's room as it had the best lock, but I chose to stay in my room as it had some weapons. Since the man had managed to get in, I immediately locked the door, dialed the police, and grabbed a hammer, pocket knife, and compass. The police told me to hide in the room until they arrived. I didn't hide in the wardrobe because it was full of clothes. And if the man found me, there I wouldn't be able to attack him. Then I called the security office man for the apartment, but he didn't answer the phone. My first thought was that he had been killed by this maniac. Now the maniac was laughing and banging on the door. I knew the door would break soon if he used the iron rod, and his laugh didn't sound like a person. <laughs> then the lock broke. Right as he was coming inside, I didn't even give him a moment and stabbed him with the compass and smashed the hammer over his head. He fell down, crying in pain. Then I used my karate training to knock him out so that I didn't accidentally kill him with the weapons. Then I heard the police sirens. They entered my house and handcuffed him. Surprisingly, after they removed his fake beard, I saw a boy my age, whom I had slapped a few days ago because he had teased me in public. He screamed, I'm going to get you. I later learned that the security guard was not dead. He was actually just scared because the intruder had an iron rod and let him in. That was also why he didn't pick up the phone. He was fired on the spot for not calling the police and the boy got eight years in prison. He had known that no one was at home except for me and had planned to kidnap me. I still think what would have happened if I hadn't kept some weapons ready? This story happened in 2010, when I was 11 years old. I was visiting my family from Poland, because at the time I lived in Norway. I was very excited to meet them again, since we hadn't been in Poland for a few years. When we got there, we were greeted at the door by our family. In case you're wondering, our family lives in a usual Polish apartment. When we got inside, we got to say hello to all the family that was there, including my favorite cousin. She was 13 at the time. We talked a lot in her room while my parents ate with the others. I told her I wanted to go to the playground near the apartment and stay there for a while, because I get bored just sitting and talking. We asked our parents for permission, and they said yes, but not to be there for too long probably because it was about 8 p.m. and would get dark soon. We agreed and went down to the playground. When we got there, it was very cold at the time because it was winter. We played there for about 20 minutes before we decided to go back to the house. Just as we were about to go back inside, I saw something hiding behind some trees. I told my cousin and she saw it too. We stood there and just watched this thing staring at us. After about 10 seconds, the thing noticed that we were staring at it and it came creeping closer to us. It moved very slowly towards us. Both of us were terrified and trembling and then we saw what was the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. It was a man with bloodshot eyes and his right arm was gone. He looked at us without blinking and then he flashed us the creepiest smile we had ever seen. 
My cousin and I just stood there, thinking that the man was probably going to hurt us. My cousin and I were frozen in fear. Suddenly the man started moving and just walked away. We immediately ran into our grandparents' apartment, and as we got there, we calmed down, knowing we were safe. We never told anybody about this afterwards. I'm 23 years old now, and this story is still stuck in my memory. My name is Vanessa and I live in the UK. I'm the oldest out of four children within my home and this story is mainly about my youngest brother who was a baby at the time. One day after school, me, my younger sister, and my baby brother were in my room waiting for our parents to come home from work. Me and my sister sat on my bed watching YouTube videos together and my baby brother was on the floor playing and crawling around. This was the usual as it would only be an hour or two before one of our parents came back. As I mentioned before, my baby brother was on the bedroom floor crawling and the walk-in closet door was open. Now looking back, this was very odd as the door would always be closed as there wasn't anything interesting in there, just boxes of old stuff that my mom didn't want to throw away. Because the door was open, my baby brother would go in it and play with the boxes and we could tell it was him as he would always giggle doing so. Me and my little sister must have gotten distracted watching the videos because when I went to check on my brother, the door was closed. I thought this was weird as you can't close the door as there is no handle from the inside, but I heard the boxes moving so I thought maybe my baby brother found a way inside. I opened the closet door to get him out of there so I could watch him. He came out and started playing again and I closed the closet door behind him. I got back to watching the videos with my sister, and after a while we heard the boxes moving again, except this time with no giggles. Me and my sister looked at each other confused as I just let my baby brother out. I stared at the door for a while and wondered how was this happening until the door suddenly started rattling, rattling like something was trying to get out. I paid no mind as I thought it was my brother again, although I had my doubts. When the door kept rattling, my other brother Jonathan, who was 12 at the time, came home and came to my room looking for something. I asked him with my back turned to him to open the closet to let my brother out. He said to me in a confused voice, What do you mean? And Aldo is right behind me. My sister and I looked at each other in shock, and we saw my baby brother crawling behind Jonathan. Me and my sister ran out of the room screaming and told our mother when she came home. She didn't believe us for some reason, but let's just say that I haven't opened that closet door since and it's now barricaded with a TV stand. Weird things kept happening in our home after that. Random knocking on doors and walls, dark shadows and weird appearances in mirrors. It's been three years since then, and I still wonder what was in my closet. <laughs> <laughs> 